Louisiana! Last night I had some Louisiana food. Guys, I know I said I was gonna make a feast, but someone mentioned this. I wanna try this first. I want to try, I know I made a shrimp po' boy before, but I want to try an oast, eh, an oyster po' boy. I wanna say this, after having an oyster po' boy, I'm not even sure if you can call it a po' boy after. Oysters are expensive. <laughs> Let me show you how easy it is to make the best oyster po' boy ever. My toast, my take on it. Be easy on me, okay, Louisiana? <laughs> Don't blink. Start off like this, the bread. So fresh baguette, one cup of warm water here. One tablespoon of extra yeast. To feed the people yeast, we got that good old sugar. Always add that good old sugar in, right guys? Not creatine, sugar. Mix that in, got a nice and mixed in, guys, and let this activate for about five minutes. See all that beautiful foam there? Yeast activated, two cups of flour going in. Nothing to it, guys. Take that beautiful clean hand of yours. Get right into it, guys. And all we're looking for when we're making nice French baguettes is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making French baguette. Once you got this nice and rolled out, I'm gonna cover this and let this proof for about 40 minutes, guys. Next, my take on remoulade sauce or tartare sauce. So, tartar sauce? Tartar sauce. So, I'm gonna go in with one cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of relish, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoon of Louisiana hot sauce. Half a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, a tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground mustard, one teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of ground white pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt. What's this in? Our topping. So we got tomato, which I'm just gonna slice down. Two pounds of oyster here that's already been shucked. I got some lorry seasoning. I'm just gonna do half a tablespoon of this. For wet batter, I got half a cup of milk here. Five cracked eggs. You know what, let's just go six cracked eggs. Half a teaspoon of seasoning salt. What's this in? Seasoning flour, so I got two cups of flour here. One tablespoon of lorry seasoning. A teaspoon of ground mustard. Half a teaspoon of white pepper. One teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of ginger powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons of paprika. Why two tablespoons? Because I like it. Okay? <laughs> See, I used the whole bag already. So I'm gonna do half a cup of cornmeal as well. Blend this in. Alright, here we go, guys. Dough has proof. So, take a beautiful dough scoop powder, scoop out this beautiful loaf. Nothing to it, guys. Haven't seen this in a while, right, guys? Flower in my hand. For the newcomers, they're probably like, what's going on? Just check this out. Pride chop? Newcomers right now, probably just watching this and so confused with what's going on right now. <laughs> it's real. All right, here, this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna weigh this out just because I want this to cook evenly. I want this nice and even. So, like this. It's around 13 ounces. You know what? That's very close, guys. That's very close. I'm to roll this into nice French baguette. So, all you do is roll into a nice sausage. That's it. And roll it out. Nice, beautiful French baguette. Guys, okay, we're gonna let this proof for additional 40 more minutes before we start baking this. Oven's preheated at 500. Well, almost 500, guys. I got a pan of water there. You see that? I got my baguettes nice and proofed. All I'm gonna do, toss this baby in for about 10 to 15 minutes, guys. All right, I low-key cooked a little oyster there, guys, off camera just because I wanted to test the oil, but oil's ready. So, vegetable oil heating up on a medium-low heat for about 20 minutes, guys. After 20 minutes, what are we gonna do? Take our seasoned oysters, dunk it into our egg wash. Mix that in very well. Shake off any excess into our dry coating. Take that beautiful clean out of yours. Pack it in very well. Once you got a nice and packed, shake off any excess into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. Just gonna get it. Cooking time for this, two to three minutes. Two to three minutes up, pull out your oysters. My nice baguette buns are complete. They're still nice and warm. All I'm gonna do, guys, 
chop the ends. Look at that. Look how soft that is. <laughs> nice. Shout out to Wilson. This knife just cuts this like butter and it's still hot. Nice. The knife dealer comes through every time. Look how smooth that was. That was such a smooth cut. <laughs> And the bun's still nice and hot. Holy. All right, I'm gonna toast this before I start putting everything on. Keep that. So beautiful. From here, I'm gonna broil this. I have to set this up, guys. Bread's nice and toasted. All I'm gonna do, ow, ow. Push this to the side. Put it this way. Is that the top or bottom? That's the top. Okay, set it up. First things first, our fancy tartar sauce, all remulated. So I'm gonna do top and bottom because I love mayonnaise. <laughs> Who doesn't like mayonnaise? I love mayonnaise. <laughs> healthy dose of iceberg lettuce. God, I love POV action. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's like you're making it yourself, you know what I'm saying? Some tomatoes. Some may fight me about this, but I've heard there are dill pickles in a po' boy, all dressed. All right guys, all dressed. And there's sometimes people who just eats it like this or plain by itself with Vasco sauce. I was told that from my last um, shrimp po' boy. Okay, if you guys wanna argue, go find that comment and argue with them. <laughs> I got no time. Last but not least. Our oyster. These nice big chunks of oysters here. Oh man. Look at that. Look at this. Rate my oyster po' boy. Look at the bottom. Oh man, guys. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. <laughs> I should place this on a plate. There it is, guys. This is my twist, my take on Louisiana oyster po' boy. When are you guys gonna come by for some? Quick time. I even made the fresh bread too, guys. So you know it's gonna be really good. I promise. That's what I'm gonna do, guys. Open this bad boy up. Come on in closer, guys. I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on this, just a tad. But I'm gonna do some Louisiana hot sauce on this as well. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> okay, a sip of this, guys. Root beer first. What the appetite is? Got it. Nice. Pump for this. That's some good old root beer right there. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Holy. Okay, I'll push this to the side a bit. It's gonna be a big bite. It's gonna be a very, very big bite. Guys, take the first bite of this. My twist, my take on Louisiana Oyster Po' Boy. Quick time, he's got it. Nice. Oh man, oh. Oyster popped out. 
You know what? I'm gonna take a bite of this side. Maybe it's meant to be pumped for this. Here, come closer, guys. Come closer for this. You guys see the back bun? Huh? Not too shabby. <laughs> I'm not a baker. Pump for this. Oh, no. Mm hmm. Low key, guys. No. Big key, guys. <laughs> this is one amazing sandwich right here. Mm 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 mm. That's amazing. Rate it. <laughs> it does pair well. Oh! Thought I spilled something out. Hot sauce on that more. Yeah. Another one. Let's go ahead. Yes. Pump this. The most beautiful thing ever. I never had an oyster po' boy before. This would be my first time ever having an oyster po' boy. Made by me. <laughs> Here's the thing that's very hard to find here. I know lots of Louisiana use Cristo hot sauce and Creole. This is a Creole seasoning. We don't have that here. That's what's up. Right. Louisiana. <laughs> Are you guys known as Louisiana? Take it easy on me, okay? <laughs> That's beautiful. What can I say? Everything was fresh besides the oyster. Mama Tran came by, so I cut her a piece too. Guys, another bite of this. Last bite, guys. Quick time. I just got it. Nice. Pump this. This, my friend, is love. Don't let anybody tell you what love is. I'll tell you what love is. This right here. <laughs> One more. Just to even this out, you know what I'm saying? The 
It's so beautiful. Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your food and life's beautiful thing shirt. Or a pop one. Like, share this. Peace out.